Inquisition. If you missed the last episode, we are still playing Wicked Eyes, Wicked Hearts, or whatever it's called. Hmm. Oh. Is it true what they say? You're the Inquisitor, are you not? I am. We heard stories of your accomplishments. Um. People exaggerate. Some of those might have gone a bit far. I told you, Felix. Not everyone fights an archdemon and lives to tell. It's an inspiration. <laughs> Fair enough. You should talk to Cullen. If you'd like, Commander Cullen could give you all the details of that battle. He's in the ballroom. Really? But I shouldn't leave my post. You'd only be gone a moment. Philippe, the world is coming to an end. If we don't hear this story now, we'll never have a chance. You're right. Thank you, Inquisitor. Let's go. Excellent. All right. Open sesame quick. Ooh, secret research. There's always secrets. Pick up orders, statue. Need a rogue for that. Alright, I think that's everything. Let's get back to that goddamn ballroom. Give Liliana the secrets. Travellian. We met briefly. I am Grand Duchess Florian de Chalot. Hello. My party. May I help you? Is there something I can do for you, Your Grace? Indeed you can. I believe tonight you and I are both concerned by the actions of a certain person. Come, dance with me. Spies will not hear us on the dance floor. Ooh. Um, let's dance. Very well. Shall we dance, Your Grace? I'd be delighted. You are from the Free Marches, are you not? How much do you know about our little war? Uh, Olay's war is Stadus' war. I assure you, the effects of this war reach far beyond the borders of the Orlesian Empire. Perhaps it does. I should not be surprised to find the Empire as the center of everyone's world. It took great effort to arrange tonight's negotiations. Yet one party would use this occasion for blackest treason. The security of the Empire is at stake. Neither one of us wishes to see it fall. Mm. Is that what we both want? Do we both want that, Lady Florian? I hope we are of one mind on this. In times like these, it's hard to tell friend from foe. Is it not, Your Grace? I know you arrived here as a guest of my brother, Gaspar, and have been everywhere in the palace. You are a curiosity to many, Inquisitor, and a matter of concern to some. Which am I to you? Am I the curiosity or the concern to you, Your Grace? A little of both, actually. This evening is of great importance, Inquisitor. I wonder what role you will play in it. Do you even yet know who is friend and who is foe? Who in the court can be trusted? <laughs> Who do you trust? An excellent question. I might ask the same of you, Your Grace. <laughs> Just let Leona spying on us. In the Winter Palace, everyone is alone. It cannot have escaped your notice that certain parties are engaged in dangerous machinations tonight. Um, I have noticed that. I have seen a few signs to that effect. You have little time. The attack will come soon. You must stop Gaspard before he strikes. In the Royal Wing Garden, you will find the captain of my brother's mercenary. He knows all Gaspard's secrets. I'm sure you can persuade him to be forthcoming. We'll see what the night has in store, won't we? Let's hope so. You'll be the talk of the court for months. We should take you dancing more often. <laughs> uh, no dances for Corypheus. I'd happily do more dancing, just not with Corypheus. I promise not to invite him to your next ball. 
Thanks, Josephine. Were you dancing with Duchess Florian? More importantly, what happened in the servants' quarters? I heard there was fighting. I hope you have good news. It appears the peace talks are crumbling. Um, I have a lead. The Grand Duchess told me there's proof Gaspard is in league with Tavinta. She offered up her own brother? She's more cutthroat than I realized. Then, the attack on the Empress will happen tonight. Warning Celine is pointless. She needs these talks to succeed and to flee would admit defeat. Then perhaps we should let her die. Oh, uh, what do you mean? You have an idea, Leliana. What Corypheus wants is chaos. Even with Selene alive, that could still happen. To foil his plan, the Empire must remain strong. This evening, someone must emerge victorious. And it doesn't need to be Selene. She's right. Do you realize what you're suggesting, Leliana? Sometimes, the best path is not the easiest one. Uh, I need more information. I can't decide this. Not yet. You must. Even in action is a decision, Inquisitor. You could speak to Selene in the ballroom, but she won't act. Not without proof. If Gaspard is guilty, he'll admit nothing. If he's innocent, he knows nothing. We need the truth. What did Duchess Florian tell you? She said Gaspard's mercenary captain is in the Royal Wing, that he knows about the assassination. Which could be a trap. Or a lead. Either way, you should search the private quarters in that wing for clues. Then get me access, and in the meantime, get your soldiers into position. At once. Be careful, Inquisitor. Yes, boss. All right. Let's... Go to Vesta Blue. And I guess we're going to the Royal Wing. I really need my whole squad. Like, I really need my whole squad. Because then I can get Varric to unlock some goddamn doors. Which way is it? Not this way, apparently. It's over here. Alright, in we go. Dope, dope, dope. Okay, team. Let's do it. Have they got their Are actual better weapons? Yes. The Empress's unmentionables now. Just how drunk are you, boss? Apparently very. A Hull of statue, awesome. More loot. Oh, I've got no inventory space. Why? God damn it. Um, let's just break all this stuff. Apart from the sigils. We'll keep the sigils. Get rid of you, get rid of you. Perfect. Come on. More secrets. More loot. Dope. Locked from the other side, as you would expect. Oh god. There's the Harlequin! And we, this has spotted it away. Oh, thank you. Uh, are you hurt? Are you all right? I'm, I, I don't think I'm hurt. No one's supposed to be here. Briala said, oh, I shouldn't have trusted her. Uh, right, Briala sent you here? Briala told you to come to this wing of the palace. Not personally. The ambassador can't be seen talking to the servants. We get coded messages at certain locations, but the order came from her. She's been watching the Grand Duke all night. No surprise she wanted someone to search his sister's room. Uh, could anyone else send orders? 
Is there anyone else who knows the code and the drop location who could have written those orders? I... I don't know. Any of us could do it, but... No. No one else would send me here. It had to be Briala. Uh, this is Florian's room? So this room belongs to Grand Duchess Florian? It used to. This had been her private room in Halam Shiral since she was a child. But this part of the palace was damaged, and the royal family moved to the guest wing. Okay, what were you looking for? What were you trying to find in Florian's old room? The message didn't say. I should have known it was a setup. How'd you get in? This wing is sealed. How did you get in here? Easy. The door was unlocked. One of the others probably handled it. Uh, you were brave to come here. It takes great courage to come to the royal wing unarmed. <laughs> it's not courage to blindly follow Briala's orders into a trap. I knew her. Before. When she was Celine's pet. Now she wants to play revolution. But I remember. She was sleeping with the Empress who purged our alienage. Ooh. Uh, can you testify to that? Would you be willing to testify to that, if I asked? Absolutely. If the Inquisition will protect me, I'll tell you everything I know about our ambassador. Go to the ballroom. Find Commander Cullen. He'll keep you safe. Thank you. Make her protect you, Inquisitor. Alright, grab another Halla statue. Grab some more loo. Grab this too. Hello? Is anyone there? Somebody? Anybody? Come on. I need more to open you. Shoot. And that's locked from the other side. I think I need two more statues. So hopefully I can find some. What happened here? I don't know. Ah. Well, we figured out what that is. You painted on lazy and arsehole. When I get out of this, I'll put to you like a big you are. Anything out here? Come on, give me a Halla statue or something. Please, come on. Give me something. No. Okay, well, there's one. Ooh. Come on, give me some coins. Okay. Out we go. Hype team. That opens. I want to go in here and I want to see if we can now open this door with just the four. I think we need more though. We need one more. Shit. Okay. Is there anything over here? Yes, there is. Okay, we'll open Sesame that and then we'll do the rift that's behind that door. At least I think there's a rift. documents bunch of stuff there and a half naked guy what happened it's not what it looks like 
<laughs> Honestly, I would have preferred it if it were what it looks like. The Empress led me to believe I would be rewarded for betraying the Grand Duke. This was not what I hoped for. The Empress did this to you? You're telling me that Empress Selene left you naked and trussed like a roast duck? Please, I beg you, don't tell Gaspard. The Empress beguiled me into giving her information about plans for troop movements in the palace tonight. She knows everything. Everything. The Duke's surprise attack has been countered before it ever began. She's turned it into a trap. The moment he strikes, she'll have him arrested for treason. I don't know which is worse. Celine for using such a tactic or him for falling for it. Um... Yeah, I need you to testify. I'll protect you from Gaspard if you're willing to testify about Celine's trap. I'll do anything. Anything. All right, more loot. Well, that was or lesion. That was something, Varric. That was most certainly something. Anything here? No. Okay. Well, we can now continue on our path. And I believe this is indeed a rift. So let's close this. Yeah. Inquisitor, what a pleasure. I wasn't certain you'd attend. You're such a challenge to read. I had no idea if you'd taken my bait. Uh, get to the point. Spare me the repartee and tell me why you're here. Such manners. Did they raise you in a sty? It was kind of you to walk into my trap so willingly. I was so tired of your meddling. Corypheus insisted that the Empress die tonight, and I would hate to disappoint him. <laughs> uh, you won't succeed. You won't get away with this, Florian. <laughs> but I already have. In their darkest dreams, no one imagines I would assassinate Celine myself. All I need is to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. A pity you'll miss the rest of the ball, Inquisitor. They'll be talking of it for years. Kill her. Bring me the marked hand as proof. It will make a fine gift for the master. What an action roll. Alright, let's do this. Come on, oh, I was trying to do it before it got its bloody barrier. Yeah, that did nothing. Is it, what is hitting me over here? Oh, it's more bloody rates. Didn't think it would work. Right, come on, kill the Wraith. Boom. Please. Okay, one more. Any loot? No. Ah, trust those tits. What was all that? Were those demons? There aren't any more of those blasted demons coming, right? Uh, you're safe. No more demons. It's safe. Maker? I've never seen one that close before. I knew Gaspard was a bastard, but I didn't think he'd feed me to fucking horrors over a damn bill. Uh, Gaspard did this to you? 
Duke Gaspard lured you out here. Well, his sister. But it had to come from him, didn't it? And all that garbage she was spewing doesn't mean anything. Gaspard had to be the mastermind. Uh, you sound Ferelden. Your accent sounds Ferelden. I thought you were one of Gaspard's mercenaries. Born and raised in Denerim. Seems like I should have stayed there. The Duke wanted to move on the palace tonight. But he didn't have enough fancy chevalier. So he hired me and my men. He had to offer us triple our usual pay to come to Orlay. Sticky bunch of cheese mummy. Uh, I need you to testify. I need you to tell that to the Empress. Impressively ruthless of Gaspard. If predictable. Do these people ever not stab each other in the back? Just curious. Gaspard doesn't care who he hurts on his way to the throne, does he? You saved my life. I owe you. And Gaspard still hasn't paid me. You want me to talk to the Empress or the court or sing a blasted song in the Chantry? I'll do it. Well, okay then. Let's do this. Come on. Ow. Alright, that archer is kind of dicking on us. Awesome. Oh, and I've got no space. Okay. We'll only take good stuff, I guess. Grenade belts. Shoot. Um, right, let's go this way. Oh, we got more Harlequins. What is that ability? That bloody sends them flying. Yeah, I don't know what that ability is that's throwing them in the sky, but it's awesome. Alright, that takes me outside. Oh, we're now level 14. Nice. Oh, God, I still can't do anything. We have loot, though. What else is in here? Oh, I need more statues to open that. Cool. And more to open that. Okay. Well, good to know. Let's push this way and curve in here. All right, in we go. She's screwed. Thank the maker, you're back. The Empress will begin her speech. What should we do? Um. Uh, what do we do? Allow the Empress to die. No. Better expose the Duchess' crimes to the court, avoiding further bloodshed. Detain the Duchess. The Grand Duchess is the assassin. Don't let her anywhere near the Empress. Duchess. At once, Inquisitor. Let all gathered attend. Her Imperial Majesty will now address the court. Lords and ladies, as a nation, we mourn our sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, friends and lovers claimed by war. The sky is torn open. Our divine is dead. And many fear the end of all things comes upon us. 
Morgli must stand as a bastion, a bulwark behind which all Fidas may take shelter. So has it stood for a thousand years. Way. So shall it ever stand. This would not have been possible without the efforts of many. Dear cousin, please step forward. Grand Duchess, stand down! Sorry, buddy. Damn, she's crazy. Now! Oh, Corypheus, kill them all! Cullen, protect the people! Yes, Inquisitor. Let's do this. Costume change. Beaten at every turn. You stole the moment of my triumph, just as you stole the demon army from Erimon. And now you've chased a defenseless woman into the garden. Are you proud of yourself? Surrender, Florian. We have the palace. Surrender, Your Grace. You don't have to die today. <laughs> Surrender. Now. Oh, you poor deluded thing. The night is still young. All I need to recover is to kill you, Inquisitor. So good of you to attend my soiree. Okay. Let's fight the Grand Duchess and her goddamn Venatori. Kill them all. What do you mean blocked? There she is. Gonna get Barry on myself, because why not? <laughs> Might as well. What are we doing, Varric? What does your special ability do? Does it triple the attacks? Because if so, that's actually awesome. Yeah, we see her. Oh, we've got Harlequins. Okay, thanks, guys. Ow. Oh, God. Because we haven't got any bloody armor. God damn it. Okay, we pulled through. Probably heal up again just in case. And we're asleep. To be fair, we're doing some crazy damage. Come on, one left. Ow. Is there only one Harlequin? Yeah, now she's joining the fight. Come on! Okay, that was a huge amount of damage. Beautiful! Hallelujah! One enemy down. Oh, I've got no loot.
I want that bow. I want that bow. Uh, destroy you and you and you and you. Cool. We're just gonna take everything. And let's get back inside the ballroom. Now that we've saved everyone. Your sister attempted regicide in front of the entire court, Gaspard. You're the spy master. If anyone knew this atrocity was coming, it was you. You don't deny your involvement. I do deny it. I knew nothing of Florian's plans. But you, you knew it all and did nothing. <laughs> I don't know which is better. That you think I'm all seeing, or that you're trying so hard to play innocent and failing. Enough. We will not bicker while De Winter plots against our nation. For the safety of the Empire, I will have answers. Um, you didn't scam about Gaspard, support Briala. Yeah, all three of you are at fault. Every one of you is implicated. You all conspired to allow this to happen. That's a bold claim, Inquisitor. Are you prepared to defend it? Uh, God, I guess we're going to do all of this. Brial is playing both sides. Gaspard planned a coup. You Lord Gaspard here. Let's just do everything. Gaspard brought hired mercenaries into the palace for a coup. I have the word of his captain. Oh, Gaspard. So predictable. Brutality is your only talent. Um, you're no better, Briala. You don't hold the moral high ground, Briala. You did murder ambassadors and forge documents. So what if I did? Take me down and elves will riot in every city in the Empire. They won't. Not when they learn you were sleeping with the woman who purged Halam Shiral's alienage. And Selene knew of Gaspard's coup and let it go far enough to hang him for treason. You've made your point. What do you want? Uh, work together for Orlais. You are three of the best minds in the Empire. You could do so much for Orlais and your people if you stopped fighting. It is remarkably optimistic to believe that the three of us could ever forget our differences, Inquisitor. I cannot believe you want to make a speech. This is foolish. We have no choice. The nobility requires an answer for what happened. Unless you want to pretend the war was all a dream. That would go over well. No more dithering. We make the cut swift and clean. Kindest to all of us. Let's do this, people. And ladies of the court, we are pleased to announce that an accord has been reached. Our cousin Gaspar will now hold a place of honor in our cabinet. <laughs> Friends, we assembled are the leaders of the Empire. We must set the example for all Thedas. We cannot be at war with each other, while the Fade itself challenges our borders. We must stand united or surely we will fall alone. Alright, we can save our world. We will save Thedas from Calamity, but only together may we accomplish this. We will heal our wounded country. A long road of reconstruction lies before us. But tonight, we celebrate the arrival of peace. Let the festivities commence! And there's Morgan. The nobility make drunken toasts to your victory, and yet you are not present to hear them. Do you tire so quickly of their congratulations, Inquisitor? is most fickle after all your efforts on their behalf. Uh, it's good to see you. Everyone suddenly wants to talk to me. You, at least, I'm glad to see. <laughs> then I have happy news, as you shall be seeing a great deal more of me. By imperial decree, I have been named liaison to the Inquisition. Celine wishes to offer you any and all aid, including mine. Congratulations. Why, thank you. Uh, you want to join us? I had no idea you were interested in joining the Inquisition. 
The assignment has been given to me, regardless of my personal interest. Selene knows you face an opponent who wields great magical power, which is far more important than her own curiosity. You will require my knowledge if you are to defeat such magic. Regardless, Corypheus is a threat to Orle and to myself. Thus, I am not opposed to the appointment. Uh, what can you do? What skills do you have that would benefit us? I have knowledge which falls beyond the realm of most mages. I suspect this is also true of Corypheus. Thus, it behooves you to add to your arcane arsenal. Yes? Mundane knowledge will not bring the rift in the sky to a close, after all. Are you a blood mage? When you say knowledge beyond the realm of most mages, do you mean blood magic? I know many obscure, forgotten, and forbidden arts. Some of it you might consider blood magic, yes? Should thought of that frighten you, allow me to offer reassurance. Knowledge alone does no harm. What I possess, I place at your disposal to make use of or ignore as you desire. Welcome aboard. Welcome to the Inquisition, Morrigan. A most gracious response. I shall meet you at Skyhold. Very fancy looking, isn't she? Here comes our bay, Blackwall. There are at least a dozen young lords and ladies hoping for some time with a hero of the night. Yet, here you are. Alone. Care to share your thoughts? Uh, things went well. No complaints. Everything worked according to plan. You saved Ole. You have earned some time for yourself. Before we leave, may I have this dance, Lady Trevelyan? Um, yes. I'd like that. Let's dance. I didn't know you danced. I did once, in another life. The matter is urgent, Lady Josephine. I am well aware of that, revered mother. We will need them to return to Valroyo as soon as possible. There are ceremonies, ordinations. Make us mercy. That's quite impossible at the moment. However, I will see to this matter as soon as possible. My Lady Inquisitor, please, may I have a word with you? How can I help? How may I assist you, revered mother? With the political turmoil put to rest, our minds turn to a single question. The next divine. We cannot answer it without the left and right hands of Divine Justinia V. I have already told you, revered mother. Lady Leliana and Sigar Cassandra cannot be spared from their duties. But surely with the support of the Empire, the Inquisition will not be harmed by the loss of just two souls. Oh boy, why do you need them? Why do you need Liliana and Cassandra? They were Her Holiness's most trusted advisors. They represent her legacy, her hopes for peace in Fadas. They could rally the Grand Clerics to follow as no candidate from the clergy have been able to. Uh, the clergy is that divided? Are the Grand Clerics truly unable to elect a divine? Everyone with the political support to succeed Justinia perished alongside her. Those who remain are unable to gather the majority of votes from the conclave of Grand Clerics. They have been deadlocked for too long. Lady Liliana and Sika Cassandra were Justinia's most trusted friends and advisors. Our late divine is still held in high esteem. To honor her, the Grand Clerics might support one of them as successor. How long would they be gone? How long does the Chantry need them? Several months, at least. If one of them is crowned divine, she would not be returning to the Inquisition. Um, I'd have to let them decide. Leliana and Cassandra would have to make that decision for themselves. And they certainly will, at a later date. The Inquisitor has only just returned and has important business to attend to. You must excuse us, revered mother. Yeah, lay the law.
Don't let them detract from your victory at Alamshiral. We've beaten his wardens and stopped his intrigues. Soon, Corypheus will have no place to hide. Colin is hoping to press our advantage. We'll plan our next attack when you're ready. Okay. We only have a little bit left to do, so... We need to deal with some people, and everyone will probably have something to say, so let's find out. Varric. second one will be bastard. They've claimed for years my crime serials don't sell in Orlais. So why is the Council of Heralds asking me for autographs? Sorry, distracted. Anyway, you need something? A uh, personal question, maybe? Want to talk about Guess not. Alright, let's check Solus. There are spirits hovering by the veil to observe the thrones of powerful nations. Machinations, betrayals. After our time in Halam Shirao, I understand why. I had forgotten how I missed court intrigue. Uh, glad you liked it. I'm pleased you had a good time. Political gambits? Broken promises? Half truths? It is a palace full of motivation. And motivation is where great things happen. In any event, Selene should now be a steadfast ally. Especially after helping her neutralize Briala. Um, I'm sorry about Briala. I hope you know that I didn't turn over Briala lightly. If I'd had another option... What? Why would I disapprove of... Oh, because we're both elves. I'm sorry, I was confused. I do not consider myself to have much in common with the elves. Um, who then? That's tragic. Yeah, we'll say that's tragic. Your people have lost so much of their history and culture. Do not even think of yourself that way. I think of myself as me. That's all I've ever needed. I joined the Inquisition to save the world. Regardless of who my people are, this was the best way to help them. As for the Elves of Orlais, I believe Briala is doing quite well on their behalf. She is an admirable woman. I agree. She's done good work. Hopefully, with our help, she can help them even more. Yes. However much I identify, or fail to identify, with her people, Briala's efforts have been remarkable. She organized resistance against a powerful enemy, using only her wits and the resources at hand. That demands respect, especially in a world where most would look at her and only see a pair of pointed ears. Okay, we are going to wrap this whole episode up here now, and in the next one we will talk to everyone else. So if you enjoyed, please drop the episode a like. It helps me amazingly. If you're new and you're not subscribed but you'd like to, that'd also be amazing. Hopefully, I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.